Hi, I'm glad to see you at Tennis Zone's channel today. Today we're making another video on balls, but we're going to talk about junior balls. Please take your seats quickly, ladies and gentlemen. All right, guys, so when it comes to uh, universal colors to pick for junior balls, it is like traffic lights. Think about it. You're going to have the slowest ball, which are going to be the red balls. The red balls comes in two different categories. You're going to have the foam balls, which is easier for the younger kids, will prevent injuries and will be easier for them to see. And you're going to have the regular, more uh, confection ball. You're also going to have the second category, which is the orange ball. You're also going to have the third category, which is the green ball. I'll tell you in the next video what is the difference in speed between all of those. All right, so when it comes to speed, it's actually pretty easy. We're going for the uh, red ball that we're talking about. Where it's foam or regular, those are all at 75% slower than a regular ball. You're going to have the orange ball, which is at 50% slower than a regular ball, and the green ball, which is at 25% slower than the regular ball. This is the basic difference between them. So now, how do you pick that for your kid? How do we make the decision on which ball you should pick? First of all, company will uh, try to give you some pointers about the age. If you're going for orange ball, for example, it's gonna be 10 years and younger. If you're going for a red ball, it's usually gonna be suggested for eight years and younger. Now, always remember, remember what we talked about in the video earlier regarding, regarding the junior rackets? It's the same thing with the balls. If your kid is a little uh, um, uh, taller than normal size in 10 years old, I would say, or a little smaller than the normal size or, or average uh, size in for eight years old, then you should always consider taking uh, another category, maybe over or under. You should always talk to your uh, coach about that. He's usually going to give you the right advice for that. All right, folks, it was all for the video for this week. I hope you enjoyed. Um, like I say, it's always a pleasure for us to answer your questions. So if you'd have other questions regarding these balls or anything else, of course, you can always uh, send me an email. You can give me a call. Uh, you can always pass in the store. We can always answer all of us. We have a great team here to answer your questions. Uh, thank you very much. I hope uh, you have a great week. Until then. See you next time.